just about finished up with our roof. They're going to do clean up today. I'm surprised they've worked over the weekend. Good morning, happy Monday. We are getting the morning started slowly. We had an appointment this morning and are already back. It's about 8.30, yeah, 8.30. And I'm gonna make some more of Evan's yogurt. I had a comment requesting our recipe. It's not really a recipe, it's so, so easy. So I poured a whole gallon of milk in here. You can really pour as much or as little as you want. The amount you pour in here is the amount of yogurt that you'll have, so I poured an entire gallon. Okay, and I'm just gonna put, I'm trying to be quiet, Evan is still sleeping. He is not feeling well. So then I click the yogurt button to boil, and then this will beep once it's boiling, and then I take the lid off and I let it cool to 110 degrees, and that takes quite a while. We'll, we will time it. That's just saying that it's getting started. So it needs to be around 110. This is close enough for me. So I'm just adding about half a cup of already made yogurt. This is the yogurt starter that will grow, create, I don't know the verbiage, the new yogurt. Esme's holding the camera and laughing at me. So then we just put the lid on. that guys we want to do 24 hours because eight hours has me doing this at midnight so I'm just gonna hit it till it says 24 hours and then we're good to go I will link this yogurt strainer below but you pour the yogurt in here I let it sit overnight and it drains the liquid out at the bottom I usually pour this out and keep a little bit so that the yogurt isn't too thick so I leave a little bit in the bottom if you have a use for this, let me know down in the comments. And then you just flip it over and let your strained yogurt whoop, fall in. I add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a little less than a third a cup. This is about for half a gallon fits in this at a time. And we're just gonna blend it up. 
At this point, you could add some fruit or flavorings. I'm just making this plain because this is for my Evan. If you are a new friend here, my Evan has Down syndrome and has a lot of food aversions. He gets complete nutrition through a formula still yogurt. This Aldi brand of yogurt is one of the only ones that he would eat. And so it's taken years for me to get him to eat my homemade yogurt, which is less sugar and a lot cheaper. So I just, obviously you don't have to put it in this container, but I put it in here so that he thinks he is still eating all these yogurt. This is half of the gallon, so I will have to do it again. So there's one, I'm gonna get him a little scoop for today. And then let me get one more yogurt container. So for the cost of one gallon of milk and then this little bit of sugar and vanilla, we're getting a gallon of yogurt. I'm coming with, you want yogurt? I'm coming. And then this is what's left. We're gonna strain this last bit. Since it's the morning, I could really do this for just like 12 hours or as much or as little as you want to do. I thought about getting two strainers. That would just make the process go quicker, but I don't really have space for that in my new tiny living environment. Okay, yogurt is done. Okay, so I got this room that I did the pan before. That would be Evan. I got this room clean, ready to vacuum, and then my daughter Evelyn stopped by. She's back in town for college. And so we spent the day hanging out, talking and playing, and during that time, <laughs> Evan made a big mess again. So I got this at our last grocery haul. I don't think I actually carried it out of the car when I did the grocery haul because we did the grocery haul late at night. So if y'all have been around a while, you know I bought this rug. Um, it's a washable, not a true ruggable, but a, um, an off-brand on Amazon. And when I washed it in my washing machine, it actually worked really good. It's just my machine isn't big enough for this size of area rug. And so the part when the water drained, the dirty water drained, there was always like a big stain right there and then I'd have to get out the handheld. So with our new home that we're building post fire, we're gonna have all solid surfaces flooring and have a lot, we're gonna invest in some really nice area rugs. So I knew I would need a rug cleaner. So bought this. So my plan, we've got a couple hours till I need to make dinner, we're done with school, is to clean this up again and then vacuum and see if this, see how I like this. My Evan, we had to go to urgent care over the weekend because he had an ear infection. The big girls had flu-like symptoms. They got better in 24 hours. It hit Evan pretty mildly, but he had a really painful ear infection. And then last night, he was up most of the night with a cough and drainage. So today, he's <laughs> just super needy, but it's funny. He'll just be totally fine and then he'll go, mom! And I run in there and he points to his nose for me to wipe his nose. We actually just decided we wanted water instead of our apple juice, but he screams like, not in a throwing a fit way, just in a really loud way. So, and then he wants me to sit by him, so. These are the days when they don't feel good, when you just have to maybe not get to your agenda. But we also um, got a floor sample in for the new house, which is really fun. And over the weekend bought the brick. And I'm starting to really feel encouraged. Like 
I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, but I can also see how beautiful it's gonna be. So it's kind of fun. Okay, I'm gonna pause what, all my plans and go just sit in there with him. Because a few of us were under the weather and it was so cold outside, I decided that some homemade minestrone soup would be really yummy for dinner tonight. I looked online and just kind of combined a couple of recipes based on what I had on hand. So I took some Italian sausage, about one pound of it, and cooked it and drained it and added um, a box of chicken broth. And then I added those sauteed vegetables back to it with two cans of diced tomatoes and then I stirred all of that up. I realized really quickly that my pot that I started with was not going to hold all of this and I still had some cut up zucchini to add. I like to wait and add the zucchini at the ends. If you overcook it, it gets kind of mushy. So I poured this into my new pot. This is a cast iron pot that I got at Sam's and I loved it because it was Baylor green. It is so pretty. I can link it below. They also have a really pretty pink color that I'm going to order for the new house. So dinner turned out really good. We added a little bit of fresh Parmesan. Well, fresh to me. It's shredded from Sam's and everyone really liked it. It made us enough to have some lunch the next day also. Here I am making some gluten-free cupcakes, just a yellow cake mix. This Betty Crocker one ended up being pretty dense. It was, they were just pretty heavy. So I don't know that I would buy this again. If you are use gluten-free products, you know how expensive they are. So you really have to love it to make it worth it. Um, but really anytime you add a bunch of chocolate frosting to anything, it just makes it doable. These were actually really good, but I am going to try a new gluten-free cake mix in the future. <laughs> <laughs> 